We know folks love to read the stories on our beautiful website about Latinas and Latinos from the World War II era and later years. But the stories are only interpretations of the actual interviews. How would you like to hear and see the interviews? I thought that would grab your attention. My name is Maggie Rivas Rodriguez. I'm the founder and director of the Voces Oral History Project at the University of Texas School of Journalism, Moody College of Communication. Voces was launched in 1999, focusing on the World War II generation of Latinos and Latinas. We've since expanded to later periods. We started the project to address a huge gap in our country's historical narrative, the American Latino perspective. Voces has accomplished much by videotaping interviews with over 1,000 men and women throughout the country. Once those interviews are completed, students here at UT Austin either write stories from them or produce short video clips. But the real gold is the actual interviews. We want to post them online with a transcript or index that is matched up to the interview. So let's say you're interested in learning what World War II veteran P.T. Herina, he was the founder of Maldiv, what P.T. Herina had to say about military service and how it affected him. You can do a search and go to exactly that spot of his interviews where he answers that question. The book was Clarence Darrow fighting for the oppressed and the poor. And I thought, you know, that maybe this is where I belong. What a great gift to not only read about World War II, but to hear the recollections from the lips of the men and women who lived through that history. In 2017, you were kind enough to help us raise money for a new website. It's gorgeous. We are so very proud of it. Now we're asking you to help make Voices that much better by helping us post the interviews online so that we can share the Latino experience more fully. We're committed to doing it. Will you help Voices put our interviews on our website? Together, we can continue to give voice to the U.S. Latina and Latino experience.